Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Wow, we've already got one card flying out. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, what do we got here? So this is bring love into the situation. Bring love into everything you do. Um, this is opening yourself up to love, allowing yourself to be loved. This is being vulnerable. This is authenticity. Spirit, please show me what messages do we have? What do we got? The energy is gaining momentum. Things are going to speed up really fast. Okay. So it's like, um, and Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. So it's like kind of lightning fast. Like things can just kind of take off. Spirit, please show me what does the collective need to know. And what do we got? Hold your vision. Hold your vision for your future. We've got the fixed moon. And at the bottom of the deck, a fiery climax approaches. So this could um, definitely be about masculine energy I'm, and the feminine. I'm getting that. Um, but this could go in so many different ways. So let's go ahead and see what major arcana we are working with today. Spirit, please show me. What does the collective need to know? What are we working with? Wow, we've got the death card here. We could be dealing with Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, but this is about complete transformation, okay? Endings and finalization. So what do we got? Let's keep going. Spirit, please show me. What do we got? We've got the five of swords. This is ending endings of conflict, uh, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, there is no victor in any of this, so... Um, not allowing other people to take advantage of you and walking away from any kind of conflicts that there is and really looking out upon the horizon to see like your ships coming in, you know, it's like, okay, I've walked away from this and now, you know, I'm looking to the future to see what's going to happen. And we've got the 10 of pentacles. So this is fortune after difficulty. This is, um, your family legacy. This is, for some of you, you could have had somebody pass over. My condolences. Uh, this could be an inheritance that this individual left you uh, when they passed away. So that's not going to be for everybody. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is about, you know, standing strong, even though you're battle-worn, you're tired, uh, but you're still protecting everything that you've worked so hard for. Um, you know, and again, I feel like it, some of you are just exhausted. <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of shit coming at us for quite some time and it's really hard for us to kind of get our footing, but it's like, you're not giving up. And that's what this is talking about. We've got the three of pentacles. So this is about, you know, collaborating with others. We've got two threes here. So threes could be significant. And we've got the page of wands. So an enthusiastic offer. So it's like, I feel like for some of you, you're kind of, you know, working, you're doing your thing. And then you get some type of a uh, phone call, email, text message about some type of an offer. And you're going to get some form of clarity. So you could, like I said, I'm thinking text message, phone call, email to see where you're at, what you're doing. Um, and there's going to be some type of a truth revealed after all of this. Um, I am getting that someone did pass away. Uh, and I am getting like funeral director. Okay. So you could be working in that realm. So again, my condolences to those of you who have had someone pass over. Uh, I'm really sorry. I know that that's very painful. Next card out, we've got the Knight of Wands. So somebody run, rushing in really quickly. Um, you know, they have something to offer you. They have something they want to bring you. Uh, it could be some, the fact that we've got the Nine of Wands, a Page of Wands, and the uh, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Um, this could be very passionate um, energy. You might want to work out or something like that to kind of, or go for a walk in nature to kind of like work off some of this energy. All right. And what else do we have? We've got the Six of Cups. So I, I, I am picking up uh, with the Six of Cups, someone from the past returning, some type of a love offer, you know, just um, a gift. Somebody could be, you know, bringing you flowers. Uh, well, flowers at a funeral home, too, is what I'm getting. Um, and all right, that one didn't want to come out. So we'll see what it comes out later. Okay, there it is. And what do we got? The King of Wands. So we've got the King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. So we have all the, the, the Wands card, Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. A lot of wands, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. And we've got the Aries card here, which is, again, about passion, fiery climax, 
someone who is very smitten by you, five of pentacles, somebody who felt left out in the cold. Um, you know, I, I am really kind of picking up I'm picking up on somebody who has crossed over, okay? I'm really getting that very strongly, especially with the death card here. Um, I do feel like it, for some of you, it could have been the, the patriarch of the family, the father figure of the family could have crossed over. They, I feel like they crossed over suddenly. It was very fast. Um, and so this message is not going to be for everyone, okay? Um, wow. Let's see what this individual wants to say to you for those of you who have lost someone. Um, intuition and download. So I do feel like they are sending you messages and it could be just through this reading that, you know, there, there is some type of assets that were left and you're going to have to find them. You may end up having to talk to an attorney. Um, but I feel like funeral arrangements, I'm definitely getting funeral arrangements. Um, yeah, transformation. There it is. I mean, and literally we got the death card here and now we've got transformation here. So, and I'm getting the masculine energy still harmony and resolution. I do feel like if you did have somebody crossed over, there is going to be some type of resolution when it comes to some type of family legacy, when it comes to assets that they left behind. Um, I don't think that you're going to have to fight for this with like other family members and that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're sending you signs um, of where you can find these things. So I don't know if it's like going through a closet or you are going through their belongings, but you end up finding something. You could find their will. Um, also, um, listen, with Pluto at the very last degree of Capricorn, Capricorn is the patriarch of the family. And Pluto is death, decay, and destruction. And at the 29 degree mark, this is where we have a lot of the patriarch energy crossing over, okay? And I know that that you're having a rough time, but this is genuinely the cycle of life. And I know that that's not easy to hear, um, but I do feel like this individual is leaving little breadcrumbs for you to find. And so it's, they're asking you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and I feel like um, there's people here that are going to help you. Sorry, there's a blender going on in the background, but that's there. Uh, there's a bunch of kids out there, and they're making smoothies. So, um, wow, that was weird. My computer just did a back and forth, and I've never seen that happen. So it's almost like there, it's going to be a, a flash of inspiration, and then it's out, and then it's in, and then it's out. So it's like pay attention to what they're bringing your way. Interesting. I don't feel like I've ever done like a full reading on, you know, somebody who's passed over like on my YouTube channel. Excuse my hair. I literally woke up and thought I need to do a YouTube video. Somebody here needs a message. You know, when people cross over, there always tends to be some type of a fight or an argument when it comes to family members about, you know, uh, assets and things that have been left behind. Let's not do that, okay? That's what this is kind of talking about. Like, let's sit down. Let's talk together as a family. We don't need to have a family quarrel over somebody crossing over. Like, we're always looking for somebody to blame. Oh, you weren't there enough. I deserve more, you know? And it's like, that's not what this was all about. You just turned something so beautiful, this transformation of somebody crossing over into something that is all about materialism. And it's like, what are you willing to sell your soul to the devil for? So keep that in mind, you guys. Anyway, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. If this reading did not resonate with you, please check back and I will be posting another video um, about a different topic. I just kind of left this one open and uh, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and pay attention. I am also posting shorts. So I love you guys all so much. And again, my condolences to you who have, has lost somebody. Take care.